Yeah, I saw him yesterday. It's cute. I, I mean, can can you look at his face? And so me and Jen went and looked at both of them. And it was like, he was just super chill, just wanted to fall asleep. The other one was just whining and whining and crying and crying. And I was just like, okay, this one seems to be the one. He spoke to me. So that is him. But I'm open to uh, thoughts and ideas on names. Because here's why. The other one looked like a Rocco. This dude, he does not look like a Rocco. He has blue eyes. He's a boy. So it's not going to be Cinderella. Kevin said Cinderella. <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> Um, so it's not going to be Crow. It's not going to be Benji for Benjamin. Oh. It's not going to be anything about money. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know what, Frank Sinatra, thank you for that because old blue eyes, Frankie, he's got blue eyes. So exactly. That. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so that's definitely weighing on me. So, uh, Miklo, <laughs> I call my son Matt, uh, cause he's, he's got the blue eyes and, uh, his white boy. So, um, yeah, so throw your thoughts in here. I love that. So let's officially go ahead and get started on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Um, I'd be remiss if we didn't just start the morning out with two things. First things first, let's welcome home the one and only Miss Karina. She's been a mermaid for the last two weeks in um, Hawaii. And you know what? She deserved that. She uh, She's like, I didn't really go on Instagram. I didn't really check my emails. And I was fully able to detach as hard as it is like, compulsively like we want to get on her phone like she was like I was just checking the snorkel report every single day and I was looking for where I was going to go to snorkel so uh Karina welcome home we love you we missed you um just tell us the highlight of your vacation because I'm sure you have tons and tons of things that you loved about your trip but what was the highlights of your vacation highlights of the vacation I think number one is definitely swimming with the turtles like that's my main mission when I'm snorkeling is to find the turtles what, look at the fishes, spend as much time underwater as possible. I love that sensation that you get when you're like flying basically, cause you can like see the bottom, but you're like floating on top. It's just, oh my God, it's like a meditation for me. So I had so much fun trying to do that every single day and really disconnecting from technology and treating this thing like it's just a camera was a game changer. And I know in this industry, it's like, we have to be, you know, pretty reactive and stuff, but it is time. It is really important to take those those digital detox moments. So steal a few if you can for me. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Digital detox. Ooh, I love that. Actually, I love the sound of that. And maybe that's your <laughs> podcast that you're going to be launching here soon. So the digital de detox. I love that. So um, it welcome home. Actually, made me feel like a real person again to like disengage and just like be one with my humanity versus like a worker bee, which I love also being a worker bee. But totally, I, yeah. you know, I thought about that. Viv posted something the other day. It was like, you know, the internet used to be our escape, and then like the world became our escape from the internet. Like it was just like such like a powerful message. So nonetheless, welcome home, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about vacations in uh, a few slides, but. I'd be remiss to not tell this person a very, very happy birthday. So uh, his birthday is actually today. It fell on a Tuesday. I see how you did that. Good job by design. Um, so um, obviously, you know, Kenny and I have been business partners now since Climb. We've worked together. We have helped grow this amazing company and support you guys. And man, I'll tell you, one of the most humblest persons I've ever met, one of the most smartest people I've ever met in my life. And Super, super grateful for you, my man, to be able to take this journey alongside of you. So we just wanted to wish you on behalf of every single person on the screen, a big happy birthday to you, bro. And just tell you that we love you, man. And thank you for everything that you do every day, every single day for all of us in this company. So thank you, thank everyone. You. It means a lot. Happy birthday, Kenny. Happy birthday. Do we sing again? Happy birthday, no, Kenny. Happy birthday. Life, you better not think that we all about singing. I am posting that video of you singing. Oh, okay. Yes, I am. So Kenny has uh, Carmen um, uh, internet right now, but do you, you want to say anything, Kenny, if we can get you on? I mean, just appreciate everyone. Uh, and it's, you know, for the happy birthday wishes. Let's go to the beach. Let's go. Uh, someone's going to the beach and is talking about it. Can you just put yourself on mute? I would like to go there too. I, I've been in the beach for the last couple of days. It's amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm in Greece right now. It's been super fun. Uh, not quite a digital detox, but it's really great to get like all my workout in the morning and just hang out for us today. Been walking through these like little, I mean, I'm not really a big history buff or that was my worst subject in 
um, high school, but coming here, seeing things in person has really shed new light. It's really cool to kind of like see the mythology and the old towns and all that. So it's just been a great experience out here. It's my first uh, real vacation, I think in seven years or uh, like out of the country uh, vacation. And I didn't have to talk to one single client. And my last meeting on Zoom was with Elias and John last Tuesday. Oh, you guys. So I was like, pretty cool. I can actually realize to learn how to run a business. And I want to help, you know, everyone get there at the same point too. And, you know, thank you all for uh, birthday wishes. Wonderful. Wonderful. He says it's too relaxing in Greece. I'm like, I want to go. But he's like, it's, it's just too relaxing here. Um, so you guys, we'll go ahead and get started for the week. Happy birthday, Kenny. Welcome back, Karina. Um, I wanted to introduce our guest. I, if you have a guest on the line today, feel free to introduce them. Uh, or if you are a guest, you just want to take yourself off the of mute and say a quick hello. Let's turn it over to our guests. Is anybody here for their very first time wants to say hello? Feel free. Go Hi, Tish Charles. Um, I was invited by Freddie Sanchez. And hey. <laughs> Hi, Tish. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Are you out in the East Contra Costa market or where are you at? I am in the East Bay in Castro Valley. Nice. Very nice. Well, welcome here. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, who you. else do we have as a guest today? Hi, this is Genevieve, Genevieve Johnson. I was invited by Steffi Pelasama. Hello to everyone. Happy to be here. This is my first team meeting. So yeah, excited. That's what's up, Genevieve. Good to have you here. Tell James I said hello. Um, we're having an orientation tomorrow. Hopefully you're able to make it out to that. We're going to plug that in just a few slides, but welcome, Genevieve. Good to have you. Anybody else here for their very first time? Any other guests on the line? Hello. Uh, my name is Justin. I was invited by Molly, and I'm out in the East Bay. Okay. All right. All right. Love it. Love it. Welcome. Thanks for being here, Justin. Anybody else here for their very first time? Any other guests? Hi, here. Hi. Hi, Gia, how are you? How are you? Uh, I'm invited by Kevin. This is my first time. Thank you. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Well, welcome, welcome. What a great ambassador. Uh, thanks for being here. So if we don't have any other guests on the line, thank you for being here. Uh, if you are new to this environment, go ahead and put your Instagram handle down below. That way we can all stay connected. And also, if you have any wins, any shout outs, anything that you want to say about one of your team members and and you're super stoked about them for the week, feel free to put that in the chat. That way we can share that with everybody. Now, let's get right into our slides for the week, you guys. Let me pull this up and let's just keep it rolling. All right, so let's do this, you guys. Quick teaching moment. Um, obviously, I, I would, I have to put her back on the spot for a second. I'm gonna give the mic back to, to Karina. So Karina, go ahead and take it away. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have anything prepared for this except for a gentle reminder to everyone that the um, our team vaccine status is in effect on October 1st, which is any of the offices that are like retail commercial spaces. Um, just, you know, on your honor, let us know if you've been vaccinated or not, you'll have access to those spaces. If not, feel free to keep using the communal spaces like the industrious workspace, as long as um, they haven't changed their policy, you're still welcome to go to those if you are not vaccinated. Awesome, awesome. Um, no other teaching moments, but I will say this, you guys, I think that this is a record. I'm pretty sure we got, last week we were at 103, but we're at 104 people at the meeting today. So let's uh, let's get some reactions, uh, some noise. You guys, it's a big deal. I've, hey. been, <laughs> I've, I've been to boring branch meetings that were uh, a legal update and everyone just want to share the croissants and get some of the stale coffee. And so this is a little bit different. So oh, actually 106 people now. So yes, absolutely a record. So great job. Appreciate you guys. Let's keep rolling. You guys love this. I love it. All right. So we are go. Oh, I'm sorry. This is from last week. Uh, sorry, sorry. We have to congratulate you guys again, but <laughs> uh, let's go into our CSU updates. For the people that are new to this environment, we feature people that have gotten um, that on the leaderboard for production and things that they're doing behind the scenes. Not only production, but things that they're doing behind the scenes, excuse me. So this is ours working on your business. Kim Tran came in at number one. Right behind her was Run On at number two. Jane, one of our newer agents, came in at number three. Sylvia Young, still making that leaderboard. And um, Ronnie Escalante uh, came in at number five. So great job to everybody. Let's keep cruising on. Um, hours working in your business. Kim Tran has definitely turned a corner. Uh, hey, Kareen, I'm getting a little bit of feedback from somebody. Um, I don't know who's 
unmute, not muted. Thank you, Gia, appreciate that. Uh, Kim Tran has been working diligently to grow her business and, and just really turn the corner. So great job, Kim. Uh, Omar right behind, or excuse me, tied with her for number one. Gabrielle coming in at number two, run on at number three, and Sylvia once again at number four. So great job, everybody. Uh, conversations leaderboard, Michael the Savage. This dude is a prospecting machine. If you guys want tips on how to door knock, you want to hear some really, really strong phone skills, I would pick Michael's brain. He is a straight closer. He is great at booking for a listing appointment, and he has the courage to go knock on doors in any community. So, Michael, great job to you. Sylvia, once again, coming in at number two. Jane, right behind her at number three. Omar coming in at number four and Kim Tran coming in at number five. So great job for the conversations I had this past week. Uh, buyer showings, looks like Ronnie Escalante has been busy. Ronnie came in uh, with 14 showings last week. Right behind him was Gabrielle. Uh, great job, Gabrielle. Omar came in at number three. Ronald came in at number four and Amy Inhofe came in at number five. So really, really great job to all of you. Um, I had a meeting yesterday, John and I, with Gabrielle and she's Still a newer agent, and she is just super, super disciplined with her notes, with her category, making sure that she's really, really like moving forward and, and um, doing all the right things. So you guys, congratulations to everybody. Great job making the leaderboard. Let's turn it over to you guys for a quick moment. As always, we talk about the community. Tons of things going on in the community. Tons of things coming up for fall season, for Thanksgiving, for Halloween. So want to turn it over to you guys and ask you about your community contributions. What are things that you're doing within your community that you want to plug, that you want to talk about, you want to mention? So let's give you guys the mic for a quick second. If you have anything in your community that you would want to talk about or plug on this call, give you guys a second to do so. Anybody? Going once? Hey, Elias. <laughs> Hi, who's that? This is Kim. Kim, what's up? Go ahead, Kim. Hey, so I haven't mentioned this before because it's been in the works for like almost four years, but I'm kind of excited. This is actually a really big project. Um, I'm part of the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District with a partnership with them. So I'm in the process of creating an education foundation with them. So I'll be on the board. Um, nice. I've been on the board for three years, but there's been changes. So I'm excited to actually launch this. They don't have an education foundation and being that I've been working with them for almost three years, this is kind of the next step in the partnership. So I have a meeting with them tomorrow and I'm excited to say that we're gonna actually apply for the 501C. We've done everything and it's been, oh, it's been like a, a, a lot of work. <laughs> oh, so. I love it. I love it, Kim. Well, let us know how we can support you in any way. Absolutely, thank you. Awesome, Kim, great job. I'm gonna turn it over to Ernesto. Ernesto, I'm sure you're, you're full, bro, off your one taco a day, but go ahead and hit us with it, bro. That's what I was gonna share with you guys. I'm doing, uh, there's a, a, a taco trail here in Concord, and I've just been posting online, posting in different Facebook groups, getting people excited about it. The Concord like, Chamber of Commerce reached out to me. They want me to document, because it's my goal to hit all 39. And it's not about eating Mexican food every day as much as I love it. My intention and what I've been sharing with everyone is, I really want to make it a point to support local businesses. And uh, just the engagement and the feedback from people that live here has been amazing. I think I have like 25 new people following me that all live kind of in the city of Concord, which is really my intention. So just documenting my support for small businesses and having them reach out to me and message me and like all that good stuff. Is, it's just been really fun. And today's like day seven, I think, but uh, just a different way to still like support small businesses in your community. Love it. Love it, my man. Um, I am actually down to support and have a taco a day. And, you know, let's, let's give Ernesto, uh, you know, uh, you know, some kudos here too. He's doing a uh, 30 tips in 30 days. And you guys, that, that takes a commitment to every single day, post a new video and actually have it like mapped out. What am I going to say this day? And, and the organization that goes behind that. And uh, so great stuff, my man, and, and love seeing what you're doing. So good job. Anybody else have anything that they want to speak about in regards to community contributions? No. All right, cool. Elias, Jay Singh here. Jay Singh, what's up, buddy? Go hey, ahead, man. Good Take morning, team. Good morning, team. This Sunday, we had our annual fundraiser for the organization I mentioned, NARCA, that works uh, primarily to help South Asian and uh, Asian families leaving domestic violence situations. We had team members who were able to uh, show up in a big way, make donations, help raise awareness. I wanted to shout out to folks on Team Fast 
for um, having that heart and, and putting that in. Uh, for those who missed the gala, there are still opportunities to, to make uh, donations online. So I can put that link in the chat box. It's an ongoing process. It sadly never ends, right? So those who are interested, please reach out to me. Would love to be uh, a resource in, in, in really making a dent in this, this silent epidemic in our, in our community. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And, and thank you once again, Jay. Uh, anybody else have anything that they want to plug or anything else they want to talk about in their community? So as, as we move forward, um, I, I saw this on a post that Kenny put together, and I was just thinking about this. You know, I really want to start utilizing our, our Oakland space, not only for things that we're doing as a company, but for the community, whether that's doing a, you know, having like a, a barista in the office, whether it's doing like an educational event, whether it's bringing in different educators, whether it's just being a hub for the entire community, doing a restaurant day, um, you know, having, you know, you know, an art walk, doing an open mic night for poetry sessions. Like there's just endless opportunities for us to do things within our community. And you guys, you have that opportunity as agents with us to really leverage your community involvement. So you guys uh, open to everybody to do whatever they want and create whatever they want. So I know Kenny and I have some thoughts and ideas of grandeur. So we're gonna definitely start really, really utilizing our space. And so let's continue on you guys, I appreciate that. Let's get right into um, escrows for the week. So, so Kevin Bowie getting on the board with two transactions for 449 and 500,000 and Ben Rojas coming in at 550,000. Kevin Bowie, I'm gonna turn it over to you, my man. You had an incredible week. You had four deals this week, only three that have posted to monday.com, but man, what an incredible week. So let me give you the mic and let's talk a little bit about your successes. Can you hear me? I can. Oh, sick. Um, honestly, I'm just putting in the work. My clients are ready to go. You know, I had, I had this discussion with my squad uh, last week and when someone says, oh, we're just going to wait, the best thing to say to them is, well, right now is the perfect time because we have a, quite a bit of inventory and, you know, my clients are getting their offers accepted their first try. Once we get towards the holiday season of like October, November, December, inventory is going to be shot. It's going to be a lot less. Um, I mean, once we get back to 2022, it's going to be a crazy, like, competitive competitive market again like is that something you're really interested in getting back into and then like actually let's just find a house now so that was that conversation I had uh, with my clients and they're all in so yeah I'm stoked love it man well congratulations to you and once again condolences to you and your family and I think that Kevin's on something here and in and, and, and you guys there's going to be tons of people that are like oh I'm going to wait till the first of the year and some of their agents who are uneducated are going to say yeah just just wait till I'll be here just call me then right no because there's going to be so many people that are coming out of the woodworks new year new me let's go out and find a house so the competition level is always going to go up in January that that happens every single year right be sure now. that we're saying things like like historically this is what happens this is the you know like because we don't really know. We don't know, you know, we can just say traditionally, historically, those kind of words to kind of couch that language in case it doesn't actually happen. Totally. And, and shoulder season is as traditionally, historically been a slower time for us. When we think about the holiday season, it's traditionally a, a, a slower time. This is the time where you get them out and, 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 and we start finding them a home now when there's less competition. So love the thoughts and love what's going on and love what's going on in your business, bro. So congrats to you. Let's continue right on. So we have uh, uh, quite a few deals on this page. So uh, Christina Pineda and Stephanie Palasama teamed up on a deal. I love this, 650,000. Weston Means Business, 659,000. And Cynthia Peterson and Miles Tillman coming together for a flex deal. I love this. So let's go over to Miss Appointment Center. Let's have you talk about this deal that you do with uh, Christina. Let's hear from you. All right, cool. I'm going to go over. All right. Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't know Steffi was talking. What's up, everybody? <laughs> so um, this happy birthday, Kenny. Um, so this deal was uh, pretty good. I don't know. It's just really important that everyone utilizes each other. I've had run on reach out to me. I've had Martha reach out to me. Um, there's just a lot of teaming up opportunities. And I think just we should just utilize that strength. So not a whole lot to say. 
That's right. Well, hey, um, you guys, you, you've seen the power of, of us partnering. So many partner deals in the company right now. Um, let's hear from Cynthia or Miles on this Flex deal. One of you guys want to chime in on this opportunity? You want to go ahead, Cynthia, or you want me to do it? Go ahead and take it, bro. Go ahead and take <laughs> All right. it, man. All right. So, yeah, so this was a long time coming. I definitely want to just sum up this whole transaction as being uh, they were just super resilient because before they started working with me and Cynthia, I think they were working with some other agent for almost two years and striking out, honestly. So it was just I was just beautiful to see it all come together. I'm very close with the family. They're from Vallejo. So this is just beautiful. I'm just happy to see it come together. Cynthia, I learned so much from you. Thank you. I look forward to doing more deals with you. And yeah, I'm just blessed to be a part of this team. Oh, I love it, bro. And you know what? Go Ravens. Yes, sir. Yes, Woo! sir. It's only right. I had to get their win. <laughs> what a game, bro. What a game. Yes, sir. Ooh, yes, right. sir. Well, congratulations to you guys. Congratulations, Christina. Congratulations, Stephanie and Weston Means. Let's go to the next category. Um, all right. So we have Leo Peak getting on the board for 775000 Mr. Jason Ellis, Mr. Cool coming in at 867000 That was another flex deal. Ronnie Escalante got another flex deal on the contract for 790 and um, Mike Spivey and Pamela Spivey coming in at $915,000. So great job, everybody. Let's turn it over to Ronnie Escalante. Ronnie, let's talk about this deal, brother. Hi, guys. Happy birthday, Kenny. Uh, sorry, driving to a showing right now. Um, no, this guy with the flex deal, he called and he wanted to see a lot in Oakland. So this lot actually has an attached development to it so it's a four unit uh townhouse so he said if you if you sell if we get this land you might sell the whole four unit uh development with me so which was a good deal i'm hoping it will happen uh he still hasn't deposited his three percent yet so <laughs> i'm hoping he does it today awesome. but awesome. i appreciate the opportunity guys you know, and, and, and I think it's the interpretation of this. I think this, there's a real strong message behind that. If you guys are working any type of online leads and you get the call and they say, hey, we want to see that piece of land that's listed at $90,000, right? Sometimes, unfortunately, that's the type of reaction we have. Like, ugh, land, cool, <laughs> great, right? And, and it's like you instantly get deflated, but there's huge opportunities and there's a learning opportunity for you to go out there and talk with architects and talk with surveyors and, you know, talk with utility companies and talk with builders. This is a good opportunity for you guys. And look at, it's already turned into more opportunities for Ronnie. So uh, great job. Absolutely love it. Uh, let's congratulate John for giving into his children. He said, no way, no how getting the kitty cat. And I just saw him holding the new little kitty cat. So uh, he's a softie. I get it, bro. The, you know, they got your heart. I get it. Uh, well, congratulations to everyone that made it on the board in that category. Um, Kevin Bowie, once again, he had a million fifty and another one for 1.5. Incredible week, my man. And Gary Lowe coming in with a deal for $2.6 million. I'm not sure if Gary's on. Actually, Gary is on. Gary, my man, can you talk about this deal? Uh, incredible, incredible job with an incredible price point. Can you take the mic and talk about this job or about this deal? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, this is a client that I've been working with uh, for just a little bit. And, you know, what helped was, you know, getting deeper and understanding their needs and, you know, asking more and really being their agent and listening and, you know, not talking as much. But, um, you know, this deal is tough, too, because, uh, at this price point, it's kind of hard to find comps. And so sometimes you have to go as far as a year back and you add in a market trends. And, uh, with, with these deals, I spend, you know, hour or two or three, you know, figuring out the price. And what really helped is that, you know, the buyers go in there and, you know, they make a connection with the listing agent as well. So they, you know, they kind of have a, a stamped, uh, they make their connection with the agent so they know, you know, when you present the offer, who, who the buyers are as well. So we also go inside, you know, we talk to with the agent and, you know, privately and, you know, they really like this. Um, before the offer was about 150 K under, I got them to step it up a bit, you know, just telling them like, Hey, you know, what's the point of having me doing all this work if you're not going to go with my suggested value. And so it's not going to work, you know? So I just said, Hey, you guys got to step it up. And that's what they did. We came in uh, head to head with the person number two 
and you know but you know because they came into the open house you know it made a good impression uh we we made it happen and so that's how we got it in man i love it i love it and and, and being able to let them know like hey you guys are working with me because you need a trusted advisor and you need someone that's going to keep your expectations real like once they trust you they're going to listen to you right and follow your lead man so Great job taking control, man. And, and what's the biggest deal that you've ever done? I know that you're in the city and price points are a little bit higher. What's the biggest deal you've ever done? This one, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My man, congratulations. And, and Gary, for the people in the back of the room that don't know, how many years have you been in the game? Um, I'd say like 10 and a half years. 10 and a half years posted his biggest deal, dude. What an accomplishment, yeah. man. So congratulations to you. Love hearing this, man. Thank you. Awesome. Let's continue on, you guys. Um, all right, we have, <clears throat> that was it for all of the, um, the individual deals, but I, I wanted to share something with you. Obviously, we always talk about our pending escrows. You have your closed escrows. Feel free to take this, put this on social. We did 15 escrows last week. We did almost $12 million in production. Um, now, let me ask a quick question to, to everybody. What was our company goal when we started this year? Go ahead and spit that out. What was the volume goal? 700 million. Um, that was the adjusted goal, but yep, you're, you're right. That's the adjusted. What was the original goal? 500. 500 million. So you guys, I have some news for you, and this is important. And this is really, it, it means the world to me to see what you guys have accomplished. <clears throat> right now in pending volume alone, we have 405,378, 392. You can see that on the slide. Well, if you add that with, with what's pending, that 109,240,669, that that means that we are right now at $518,619,061. So that takes us over our goal once all of those pendings close. Now, if we do on an average of what we've done this year, which is 172 million per quarter, that means that we're gonna end up right around $690 million for the year. So our adjusted goal, our new goal of 700 million if we never even put that in the universe, it wouldn't be as real as it is. Like we've been speaking this into existence. I have the chills talking about this, you guys. That 500 million, we went from 126 million when we closed the books last year to think of what you guys have accomplished already and to think where we're heading. You guys, we're gonna be at a billion dollars in production by August of next year. That's, that's what I plan for this company to be able to be at a, uh, by August to be at a, uh, a billion dollars in production. So. Great job. I mean, incredible job. Look at what you guys have accomplished. And so let's give everybody around you a giant round of applause because that's a contribution that comes from every single one of you. So really, really great job. You guys want to share that with you. Make sure that you post this on social. Um, and let's go to our fast story of the week. <laughs> He's already spoke, so he probably doesn't want to speak again, but um, I would be remiss not to put him in as the fast story of the week. He's been our company visionary. He is humble. He is giving. He is future forward thinking. And we are on the road to a billion. So one more time, Kenny, happy birthday. Thank you for all that you do. And thank you for the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it. We were in the meeting earlier. I was like, all right, fast story. Let's look at numbers. Let's look at IG. And I was like, oh, hold on. I got it. <laughs> so uh, uh, happy birthday to you, brother. Appreciate you. All right, so let's go over to um, Molly. Molly, I'm going to have you plug our event really quick for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro. Do you, I'm going to piggyback off of you. Um, okay. Yeah, you could take the lead, Elias. I'll piggyback. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to piggyback off of, for Kenny. All right, no. you got it. <laughs> if you are new-ish to the company and you've been here, let's say, the last three months, and um, I know we did a small workshop in, in Walnut Creek a couple months ago, but this is going to be bigger. It's going to be longer. Um, it's going to be from 11 to 4 tomorrow at our new training center. This is foundation and preparation. We're going to do all kinds of different examples of our tech tools. We're going to do live demos. We're going to have um, uh, Envisions there. They're going to be doing, um, you know, some filming. But this is going to be a hands-on event for tomorrow. I want you guys to be there come out, be ready to learn, meet, ready to, to, to meet your other team members and have some fun with us, you guys. We wanna make sure to answer all of your questions so you can continue to grow. The new year is right around the corner. We don't want you guys to wait for anything. This is about motion. This is about momentum. So 
come out tomorrow. Food's going to be provided. We're going to have some music. We're going to have some fun. So I'm really, really excited about that. So Molly, I'll turn it over to you. Um, yeah, just to chime in kind of on um, what Elias said, we were on Walnut Creek, just kind of mapping out tomorrow's events. Um, bring your laptops, um, make sure that you can access, you have login, CSU, Slack, your association. Um, onboarding, we're going to go a little bit into detail. So for those of you that are kind of on the fence or not sure, we're going to cover it tomorrow. We're also, you know, um, going to discuss what to do next once you've onboarded and you've done the foundational basics. Um, so if you have questions for me, and thank you everyone who had patience last week, if you don't know, I was in jury duty um, or had jury selection and then was selected to be on the jury. So I was working in between breaks, lunches, late hours, early morning. Um, but if you have questions or you're unsure, this is the meeting for you um, to make sure that you have everything set um, so that you're ready to go. Um, so we hope we have a good turnout tomorrow. But again, bring your laptops, make sure that you have your logins. If you don't hit me on Slack and I'll make sure if you don't have an account today, um, I have a couple of meetings after this, but um, feel free to hit me. I'm going to make sure everybody that has onboarded um, or is active with EXP has all of this. So whether you access it tonight, we're definitely going to go over it tomorrow, but that's what I'm going to be working on. We'll talk about headshots and business cards. And I know a couple of you guys have reached out to me. Um, all of that we're going to discuss tomorrow. So. Yeah, you guys, so if you have tons of questions, which I'm sure you do, write those down tomorrow. We're going to have a Q&A session. We're going to have small little modules. We're going to have um, breakout sessions. And we're going to have some fun, you guys. But at the end of the day, we want this to be super productive for you. We want to make sure that you are aware of where to go. We don't want you guys thinking, well, shoot, where do I go for all these things? All that will be answered and cleared up for tomorrow. So looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy, let's go over to you, my man, to plug our event that we have in Brentwood this week. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Um, we are doing a happy hour tomorrow from four to seven at Brentwood Craft. On Thursday. Oh, no, on Thursday. Sorry, Thursday, four to seven um, in Brentwood with uh, our lender partner up there, Cal Financial. Uh, we're going to be doing these once a month and they're, they're industry wide. I mean, really, they're kind of open to whoever. So it's not just agents on the team. So um, invite your friends in the area uh, that that work in the business. Uh, come through anytime between four to seven. We we really want to get some good attendance to this one and and kind of show up for for our partner up there because we're going to be doing a lot more stuff like this to come. Is Lisa Chavez on the meeting today? Does she have um, the laptop? Or her husband take it. Uh, let me, let me I'm on, start. but I'm not That's putting you. my camera on because I look ugly right now. And Lisa, you want to hype up uh, the spot we're hanging out on on Thursday? Sure, yeah. Um, it's a little local bar downtown. It has good appetizers, um, tons and tons of beer and cider on tap. Um, it's a huge place, family style. They have these long tables and it's just a good hangout. It's fun. I'll be there. Awesome. Yeah, Lisa's going to pick people up from Oakland on her electric bike if you need a ride. Hell yes. <laughs> Hop on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come through. Um, and it's always out there for some people, but we, it'd be awesome to, to, to get a good turnout and hang out. So Elias, Molly, and myself will all be there at some point. So come, come hang out. Yeah, we're going to go to that and then try to make it out to, uh, I think, is, is the ARIA event that night too? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. So try to make it out to both. Um, so you guys, time. what's that? It's the same time from five to seven at Plank. Oh. Plank. Okay. And, hey, um, real quick, Elias, those of you who are sponsors, tomorrow's event, if you haven't already, I know some of the sponsors have, reach out to your downline. Um, you know, we don't want you guys to do the heavy lifting, but it's imperative that they try to attend these because in the end, with, you know, it being um, left unsaid, if they're successful, so are you. So again, if you haven't tapped into your downline or anybody that you sponsored, reach out to them, share the flyer, tag them on Slack or whatever, but try to get the word out that um, that, they, that they need to be there. Plank, plank after party at our office. Can someone please host it? Sure. After party on Thursday? Yeah, I mean, it's down the street. They can just walk over to our office. Will, you're in charge. We need a pool table there. We got a foosball. It's not the boys club. Yeah, yeah we need a we need a foosball tournament. <laughs> See, to me is laughing and Cyrus are laughing because they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Love it. So you guys, 
something that's on the horizon for us and the senior leadership team is going to be meeting October 30th to uh, start planning what our business planning workshops are going to look like for this year. Uh, what we're probably going to do is we're going to do two days of business planning, and these are going to be hosted at all the offices. So we're going to have probably we're going to lean on our squad leaders, uh, maybe even lean on our mentors. So what we're going to do is we're going to design everything. We're going to get all the templates. We're going to get the flow. We're going to get everything set. And then we're going to be running these simultaneous workshops at all of the different offices. And then we'll compile all of that to make sure that everyone's goals is, you know, uh, we can support them. We know what everyone's goals are. We'll be able to systemize those, categorize those all. So we're going to make sure that we um, meet as a senior leadership team first, and then we'll let you guys know about the business planning. We're probably going to do that first week of November uh, because we don't want to wait till December. We want to make sure that all of your business plans for 2022 are already set and in motion. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, and getting back to my slides here. All right, you guys. So we had, oh, actually, you want to talk about um, Hercules, John? Do we have any new updates from Hercules? Because I know that. Uh, yeah, we do actually have a new update. I know the last couple of times, I think we've been saying it should be a month out uh, for for the last few months. So it's actually, they surprised us. And, and rather than more delays, we're going to get it sooner than later. So we could have keys um, as early as next week. It's still, you know, a pretty raw space. So it still needs a little bit of work, but the goal is to get the bare minimum kind of functioning up and running. So you have somewhere to sit and, and internet. So stay tuned. But um, Hercules, actually, it, it, I'm happy to report that Hercules is coming sooner than later, uh, at least to a point where you can go there and get some work done while we build it out and make it awesome like all the other offices. Who's, who's stoked about the Hercules office? Because I am. <laughs> so, um, there's a Slack channel too. Nothing is in there right now because there's nothing going on yet. Uh, but Hercules Dash Office, if you guys want to check on Slack, welcome to hop in there. Uh, we, we might working on a, I mean, I'm jump, jumping for it right now, but October, maybe October 29th, if we can get the office in time, we want to do like a trick or treat station, a community event. So you guys want to be there and show your face. We're probably not going to have a party there, but it'd be cool to just have invite the entire community to come get candy. Uh, it'd be a nice little so soft pre-opening for us and get our name out there in the community. Yeah, for sure. So um, I just go off as I said, I'm working on that right now. Email them to try to grab a room there before this with a really great view. Love it. Love it. Um, let me think. Yeah, nothing else from the offices. So we're, we're really excited about Hercules. I know we've been working on that for a while. Um, we came up hey, with- Hayward, a Hayward, Hayward we're, uh, we're finalizing leads. We're, we're working on just a tiny details right now. I think delivery day is next month for Hayward. Um, and the location for that is at Sohei, where our new construction is. So you want to look up where it's Sohei Loop in Hayward. It's on Mission Boulevard. Hoping to get that um, in the next, I don't know, 30 days. It's, we're some, we're commercial. We'll say there's a lot of delays in construction. Yeah, you guys, we're continuing to grow. We're super, super excited. Uh, well, with the holidays coming up, with um, Karina being a mermaid for the last two weeks in Hawaii, with Kenny in his relaxing journey through Greece uh, right now, we had a thought in our leadership meeting that earlier. We, we want to ask you guys, and go ahead and light up the chat below. Uh, we want to ask you, where would you like to go most in the world and why? I, I'm, I'm curious to see what's on your bucket list, where you would want to go and, and why you want to go there. Um, for, for me, I want to go to Sicily and I want to go to Italy. I've never been. My family's from there. Um, so I definitely want to do this whole tour, tour through Italy and, and, and Sicily, but then also Fiji. Um, I met a lot of Fijian people when I went out to the Cook Islands, which is out by like Samoa and Bora Bora. And the Fijian people were just so friendly and so nice. And all the pictures and videos I've seen, I definitely want to go. So uh, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up in the chat. Let's hear uh, let's see here. Egypt. Ooh, I love it. Aliyah said Thailand. Um, I didn't know that, that, uh, let's see. Oh, Kylie, you're Italian too. Okay, cool. Very cool. Um, Kim says Japan. Uh, Laura Spielman says Morocco. Um, where are you, where are you going, Ernesto? How do I say that? You pronounce it Oaxaca, and if, Oaxaca. You've, okay. if, if you've seen the movie uh, Coco by Disney, that's pretty much what it's about, and that's where it's like really, really big, so I'm excited. Beautiful. Oh, Dewey's going to Asia for two to three weeks next year. I love it. Uh, let's see. Shayla says Puerto Rico and Egypt on my bucket list. Rebecca Gammon says Croatia, and then Landscape just calls me Thailand. 
Uh, December says Ireland, Ireland to do my family history. I love it. Italy and Sicily. Uh, I love it. Ed's awesome. Bali for Dewey. Jason Ellis says Bali. Um, Kathy Daniel, I'd love to do the Sound of Music tour. Love it. Lauren says Egypt, Thailand. Oh, I love this. I love this. Damien says Egypt. Um, what did I miss here? Cyrus says Budapest and Istanbul. Greece is on Lauren's uh, list as well. Amy says Spain uh, was canceled before the pandemic. I know a lot of people had to put their plans last year on hold. Kathy Daniel, Switzerland, Austria, Belgium, Northern Italy. So I'm loving this, loving this. Spain, Thailand, go back to Italy a second time. You guys, I love this. There's 38 more responses. It's gonna go to everybody, but uh, start thinking about this, you guys. We, we work our asses off, right? We grind, we grind, we grind. We talk about balance all the time, giving back to yourself, vitality, energy, like, you know, just the, 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 the part where Karina was telling us earlier that she was just like the stillness of being under the water and, and like looking at the, the, um, the turtle and like having nothing else on your mind, suffer right there, that moment and, and, and being exposed to that. I know Kenny is not going to take us on an emotional journey about what he's experienced and how it means to them. But if Kathy was on the line, I'm sure she would tell you about this emotional journey and what it meant to her. But point being, you guys, is that it should be on your list. You should, you should be putting these, these things on your calendar and then saying, by this deadline, I'm going to go to these places because we're not getting any younger, right? We're not getting any younger. Last thing you want to do is, is get to the end of your life and say, man, I wish I would have. I wish I would have gone and seen the things that I did. I worked my ass off so much. You talked to a lot of people in like an older generation, like, oh, I just, I worked, I didn't really go anywhere, right? My grandpa was an old, old Italian man, like just didn't really do much. Don't, don't live our lives like that. We just, we have an opportunity to make a lot of money, but we have a lot of money, a lot of opportunity to create great experiences for ourselves and for our families. And so go out there, enjoy life. Do some things you've never done. Do that bucket list trip because you guys deserve it because you work your asses off. So you guys, if there's nothing else for the good of the meeting, does anybody else have anything? We're actually going to get done a little bit earlier. I like, I like how these meetings have been going a little quicker. Does anybody else you, have anything? You got the, um, the Halloween party. Maybe Elias Phillip, you went about Halloween party. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you guys know that we are going to be hosting a uh, fast Halloween party on October 30th in our uh, our new office, 215 Washington Street. From four to seven, this is going to be open to um, any real estate professionals, anybody that you know in the industry that wants to bring their kids through. When they come into the office, we're going to have a trick-or-treat uh, like course that they can go to different stations and trick-or-treat. We're going to do a costume contest. So from four to seven, it's going to be families. And then we're going to do a contest for the kids. From seven onward, it's going to be only adults. So this is a great opportunity for you guys to invite people, invite people in the community. Um, if you guys are going to local restaurants down there in, um, in Jack Linden Square, get them in contact with Kenny and I. We would love for them to come out, maybe set up a table, give out some treats, whatever the case is. Like we want to get everyone in that area involved. Maybe Blue Bottle wants to come out. Who knows, you guys? Maybe Edward, Everett and Jones wants to come out. So let, let's make this a community thing. Have the people come out with their kids. I think it's going to be great. We'll, you know, get some of this on film and, and be able to really talk about our office and bring people into the office that might not have ever seen or had an opportunity to see the office, right? If you're, if you're buddies with somebody that's uh, at KW and they love KW, they have no, no thoughts of joining or even coming to the office, but they come to our environment like, whoa, Kevin was talking to some friends over at KW the other day. He's like, why do you guys get to do all the fun shit at your office? <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just who we are, right? It's just, we've, we're, we're a cool team. We're an innovative team. We're different. And there's definitely a lot of fun. So uh, we have a couple of committee members. Uh, once again, if you guys want to be on that committee, just hit Kenny and I in Slack. I know that Christina Darrow hit us. I know that Run On hit us. A couple other people hit us to be on the committee. And then we're going to need about 15 volunteers to be able to hand out candy. So Start thinking about your costume ideas now because we're going to be doing a big adult costume contest as well. Um, I have an idea for the leadership team, but just my thoughts. But uh, anything else? Anybody want to mention something? Anything Can good I, for the Go I'm ahead. Sorry. So Elias, I'd like to um, give a big shout out to Sonny Wong. Um, Sonny got a flex call that he couldn't take because he was really sick and it was in Livermore. So I jumped to my car and went and showed his buyer in Livermore um, 
we talked a lot. We went back and looked at the house a second time the next day and looked at a few others. And um, I kept in touch with him. And then all of a sudden he said, oh, well, I'm going to wait till, well, it turns out his money is not in this country. He has to give his money out of the country, but he was going to wait for a couple months before he bought a house. Um, so I put him in a drip, but fast forward to yesterday, Sonny called me and wanted to know how it was going with RK. And I told him what was going on. And he said, well, he just contacted me and wanted to write an offer, he said, and um, I'd like to add you to the offer. There's no reason that Sonny has to do that for me. And I just thought that was above and beyond and shows what an ethical um, and honest gentleman he is. Love that. I absolutely love that. You know, because I, there's just the power in the partnership in this company, right? And there's the power of saying, you know, let's help our brothers and sisters out on this team. So absolutely love that. Great story. Uh, Linnell, you had your hand up. Did you want to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to ask about the um, meeting for tomorrow. Are we able to bring a guest or is that just for us? No, nah, bring whoever you want. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're going to open this event up for tomorrow. And you guys, if you're already a team member who's been here for a while, you guys can drop in. Will's coming tomorrow. Martinique's coming tomorrow. There's people that are on the team that are still going to come. And um, so the more the merrier, you guys. The more people are there, the more energy, the more collaboration, more thoughts, more ideas. So open to all. Really cool venue too, uh, Elias. It's our first time using our Concord office. There's a conference center on the ground floor. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome for presentations. Yeah, and, and like I am just... Obviously, I, I love public speaking is what my background is, but to be able to be there with you guys and like have our multimedia and have our music, it's just really excited about our new training center. Let's go over to Mylisha. You have your hand up. Hi, you guys. I just wanted to introduce our brand new team member, Arlene. She is here and she's joining. Arlene, do you want to say hi? Hi, everybody. I am really, 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 really excited if you can't tell. And I'm looking for Halloween. I'm a big Halloween fanatic. Thank you. Awesome. Well, um, we definitely, I don't know if we met Arlene yet, Mylisha? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, me, and Arlene, we did a Zoom call a while ago. And then she wanted to kind of take some time to think yeah. about it. Okay. Now I, and I, she told me yesterday. I remember yeah. 100% now. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, Arlene, awesome. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so anybody else um, have anything good for the order? Jordana, what's up? I know we didn't get a chance to introduce you. I don't know if you introduced yourself last week. Do you want to officially introduce yourself this week? Sure, I was trying to fly under the radar radar here, but- All right, well, yeah. welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, this is my first Team Fast meeting officially. I joined last week and I'm so, so, so excited to be here. I'm so stoked. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And tell everyone where you're at. Oh, yes. I'm down in the South Bay. So San Jose, Los Gatos, Saratoga, Cupertino, Mountain View, up the peninsula as well. So if you have any buyers or sellers down here, I'd love to partner on a deal with you or pay you a referral fee. Let me know. Beautiful. And Arlene, what market are you in? I'm in the Tri-Valley, Livermore, Dublin, and Pleasanton, and I live in Livermore. Beautiful. Beautiful. And Arlene and Jordana, hopefully you guys can uh, make it out to orientation tomorrow. We'd love to have you there. Thank you. Cool. Anybody else have anything for the order before we head out? Cool. Well, you guys, once again, um, happy birthday to you, Kenny. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. Welcome home, Karina. We missed you. We love you. Um, you guys go out there and continue to break records, continue to shatter what the industry thought was going to be the norm, because I think what we have done is we have created a different standard in the industry. What we've created, and I've said this since day one, when we only had 20 agents, that we were going to create a movement in real estate. And we've done so, and we're going to continue to do that. So um, I, I'm so excited to say that we are, um, you know, over our goal and we are on pace to, to come close to our stretch goal. So super stoked on all of you guys. Continue doing what you're doing. We're learning from you as we grow as well and the things that you're doing on social and your content. So I'm just super inspired by all of you. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Keep it moving towards your dreams, goals, and visions. And I will see you guys tomorrow for group coaching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for orientation. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Happy birthday, Kenny.